We welcome you once again to the program Know Yourself that comes your way to help build your relationship, to give you information and to educate you. It is a platform created so we can all be assisted to live peacefully and harmoniously. Today too, we have yet another exciting topic. I believe you love it. We're going to look at the topic, the principal cause to marital misconception, and I hope you'll be interested. Marriage, as a word and institution, has its roots right from the creation of the world. Indeed, we are told that after creating Adam, God saw the need for a companion, hence the creation of Eve. And I want us to register that marriage as a social institution from this narrative is as old as human race. Its roots is traced right from the Garden of Eden, that is the creation of the universe itself. And so we are told it was God who instituted the institution in the Garden of Eden. And this is recorded in the very beginning of the scripture, Genesis. If you look at Genesis chapter 1, verses 27 to 28, and again Genesis chapter 2, verse 24, you would find evidence from the scripture. Indeed, according to one authority by name, Atkinson, he said that marriage is a divine institution that was inaugurated by God. So it is something that God himself inaugurated it at the creation of the world. Indeed, many are those who are enthused about the conception or the concept of marriage in our world today. And as a result, we have young, we have old men and women all trying to enter into the institution called marriage. People therefore make tireless efforts in order to enter into the institution called marriage. That is very good. We know that this journey called marriage begins at betrothal and it is celebrated in ceremony, consummated in sexual union and mature this institution, we mature it through the challenges of life. But the irony of the situation is that individuals who are enthused about and making all tireless efforts to enter into this institution, unfortunately, regret sooner than later after entering the institution. And this Christians and non-Christians alike are affected. And this defeats the basic reason for the institution of marriage. The union, as I've already mentioned, between male and female, if we look at how it was established, then it should have been something inseparable and should have lasted until death lays its icy hands on any of the couples. But unfortunately, People are not ready to grant commitment a chance in their marriage relationship. Yes, problems are bound to come. As I've already said, we get it matured through challenges of life. But people are not ready to grant commitment a chance. Nowadays, you mentioned the word marriage and in our contemporary world, you would not be far from receiving corresponding synonymous words such as hatred, anger, bitterness, strife, and eventually divorce instead of the word initially. When you mention the word uh, marriage, what it should have reminded us of should be love, unity, joy, happiness, which I, I am very comfortable and I'm sure that should have denoted the marriage institution. And so the big question is that 
What is responsible for this misconception? What is responsible for this misrepresentation? Now that we mention marriage, then people rather would want to associate marriage institution with anger, bitterness, strife, instead of love, joy, happiness, unity. So what is the cardinal, what is the main cause of this misrepresentation or if you like, the misconception? I was reading through various literature and then I came across one prolific marriage writer by name Nancy Van Pelt. Van Pelt had done some serious research about what causes marital problems. What are the causes of, what are some of the things that bring about marital problems? And she tried to arrange them in order of preference, that of necessity, number one should be this, number two should be this. And in her findings, I want to share with you, she identified 10 of them. The number one, according to Nancy Van Pert, is communication breakdown. Communication, whether it is absent in our relationship or in our marriages, or it is inadequate, they are all bound to cause problems in our relationship and in our marriages. So number one, according to Nancy Van Pert, is communication breakdown. According to her, number two, is loss of shared goals and interests. Number three, sexual incompatibility. Number four, infidelity. Number five, excitement and fun gone from relationship. Number six, according to Nancy Van Pelt, is money. Number seven, conflict over children. Number eight, alcohol and drug abuse. Number nine, women's right issues and number 10 in-laws so it means all these things need our attention but our focus today is communication from the findings we can easily see that according to nancy van pelt the one number one marriage problem that eventually ends in divorce is communication breakdown indeed communication is key to every aspect of our life and plays an important role in building and strengthening our relationship with different people, including our spouses or our partners. Van Pert also said that the happiness of a couple can be measured to a very large extent by the effectiveness of their communication. How a couple communicates is one of the most powerful factors affecting the success or failure of their relationship. In other words, the key to all these things that we're talking about, the problems in marriage, uh, the number one is communication. And we're going to, in our subsequent bulletin, give attention to communication because we have seen that even now, the misrepresentation, the misconception about marriage is as a result of couples not being able to communicate appropriately. So in our subsequent bulletins, we would take you and journey you through communication. I want you to follow us, subscribe, and then you can get the other editions which will help us with other topics relevant equipping you with the skills, the skills in order to handle and enjoy your relationship. We thank you so much just as we have been doing uh, today too. We're just inviting your comments. We are inviting your questions so we can serve you better. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for your time.